whenever I get an opportunity of a lifetime, especially in aviation, to share something special with you, I jump on it. And today, we're doing that for sure. So we're here right now at the Naval Air Museum here in Pensacola, and we're in kind of the back lot. And these are the restoration facilities that we're gonna walk through and show you some incredible stuff. Now, the rest of the film crew is on the other side with Tyler Feed Davies from the Blue Angels. Also, Captain Sterling Gillum is the director of the museum. And they've given us unrestricted access to show you guys some behind the scenes, really fun stuff that's inside this hangar right here. But before we go in, the, one of my favorite planes, the Connie is sitting right here. There is some incredible history at this museum. If you haven't had a chance to get here, you definitely want to. And it's free to you, the public. So make sure you join us. And you can see down there the Blue Angels because they're usually training here all week that you get to come and watch. But also behind the Connie is a C-130, which is the only C-130 on the planet that has landed and taken off from an aircraft carrier. To my left here, we've got the kind of secret of Nighthawk. And we have a whole bunch of videos where we walk through all these aircraft. These are all sitting out here in the line, getting ready at some point to go into the facility that I'm about to take you into where they do all the restorations. So really looking forward to show this to you. And you know what's fun about this? There's nobody here. They gave us full access to be able to walk you guys around and just talk about what we see. And actually, while we're sitting here going, you're probably gonna hear there's a T6 taking off right there. The Blue Angels just came in from training and they're about to take off here in, in a few more minutes. So hopefully we catch them, but let's go ahead and walk inside and we're just gonna start to walk around and check out their whole facility and what they do here. So let's jump in. Wow, this, this is incredible. I mean, I'm so honored to even be in this building and to be able to be out here and and, and just grateful to the museum for giving us this access. But if you think about the history that has come through this building or the airplanes that have been in this building and been restored, it's kind of awe-inspiring. But the volunteers here do an incredible job. When you get to see some of the original stuff here in this museum and, and what they do, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. So I'm so grateful for all the guys that come here and do the work on this stuff. But just think, so you've got a whole bunch of different stuff here. They know that these are some cockpits that they use out on the line when they have uh, people come, the public comes for the Blue Angels. This is obviously more of a modern plane that they're doing some work on. But over here is uh, a pretty interesting, incredible airplane that I want to talk to you guys about. This plane is very special. This is a, a 1943 Corsair. Now, why is this special? This is called the birdcage model. And when it's one of the earlier versions of the Corsair where uh, the reason they call it the birdcage is the canopy was kind of like you're in a birdcage. And we're gonna show it to you because they're doing an incredible job restoring this. As we sit here today, as we know, there's only three of these actually still left on the planet. This one was just found in the, in the 2000s in the bottom of Lake Michigan. And this is an incredible find uh, when they found this. So, um, the birdcage, the, the issue I had in the earlier versions of this airplane is the birdcage is the pilots couldn't see anything. If somebody's on their tail or whatever, when they're trying to look out, they can't see. So they modified this airplane, and this is the original. So they modified it, changed the canopy, they changed some of the gear on the bottom, so it brought it up a little bit, they changed the prop a little bit, but, and it made it the, the more of the current version of the F4U. But this is all original. So. Like I said, the volunteers are restoring this right now. This came out of the lake. It has the original engine in it right now. All of the skins and everything original. Now, the other thing that they did, which was really interesting here, is the, the whole cockpit is fully restored. We can't get in the cockpit, but um, what they did is when they were restoring the cockpit, at this point right here, they kept the plane cut in half so that these guys could get in and out easy because this plane is incredibly hard to get into. So as they're restoring the cockpit, it would just be almost impossible for them to really do that in a timely fashion. They get in there and totally do the restoration that they did. So when the plane got here, they kept it cut in half into two pieces so they could get in and out. Now, uh, they're getting ready to type put the F on here and all the rest of the stuff, but uh, all this is, is original. And I'm gonna show you some stuff on the other side as well. And then we'll get to the engine, but here's, here's something else that's cool. So I'm gonna show you something here and it's the prop. Now, by the way, we're here in the 
in this restoration facility and they're letting us just walk around and show you guys some incredible stuff here but so here is the prop that they just finished restoring so this prop was on this plane when it came out of the lake so just think about that this plane crashed in 1943 in the 2000s this prop in this plane came out and they just restored it and you know it's incredible i i gotta tell you i'm I can't believe I'm even here. I'm even touching this stuff and going through it. But uh, it, it's, it's pretty incredible to see the work that these guys have done. And you know what, as a visitor, when you come here, you can actually come and see this stuff. They'll bring you out here and allow you to see kind of what's going on. And, and by the way, they're just um, marrying the wings. Yesterday, that wing just got married to the other side. And I'm gonna show behind you and the camera guys here in a second, but that's the other wing that's gonna go on here so they're right in the middle of marrying these wings so here's some gear doors gear doors that are, are they're working on right now that, that are going on here is the other wing um, again it's like crazy that I'm standing here touching this particular airplane um, this is extremely rare and it's uh, really cool to be here I'm just in awe just being able to walk around and see what's going on but we have here you know, the, the gear isn't on yet. The gear's over here. We'll show that to you in a second. Um, the engine is here. The majority of the engine is intact, is original, and was in there. Now, there is a suction in here that is magnesium. So if you know these airplanes, you've got, like, uh, you got the front end of the engine, and then you've got the power section. The power section's where, like, the fuel pumps and everything hang off on it, or, uh, you know, other the hydraulic pumps and things like that are usually on that magnesium section. Well, of course, magnesium and water doesn't do well. So there is a section in here that isn't there because the water just did away with uh, the magnesium, but the whole rest of the engine is there, which is cool. I'm gonna show you the, the tires here and the wheels because this, well, I'm gonna take you through the whole machine shop inside here, but like here's the original tires, but like I just wanna show you an example of, this is all original, but then the guys machine this cap uh, where the grease is inside, so you've got the, the ring here, the ring comes out, the grease is in there, this is where the bolt is when they get through and they bolt it up. But there's a lot of parts here that these guys machined all here in the facility. Um, so, you know, the majority of this plan is original, but there are some pieces that they have to redo. But I'm only showing you that because I'm going to get to go into the machine shop and actually walk around the whole machine shop and show you that. But let's, let's go on the other side here because I do want to show you guys uh, a couple other interesting things that I didn't realize. And now, obviously, we got a lot of aluminum on the plane. Um, again, I'm freaking out that I'm actually touching this airplane right here. And that's one thing about this museum in Pensacola is these planes aren't behind glass. I mean, these are some incredible original aircraft. They're not behind plastic or behind some kind of ropes or something. This is one of the only museums that I've seen where I can walk up to and they let you walk up and touch some of these aircraft. I mean, you got George Bush's, George W. Bush's plane that he's flown in there. You got Marine One that's in there. You can walk up and actually touch this stuff at this museum. So it's pretty incredible. Let me show you a couple of things like this I thought was interesting. I didn't know this. You know, the majority of the plane is aluminum, but I didn't realize that some of it, you know, the elevator, you got the tail section here. These are fabric on this Warbird, just like our Carbon Cub. Um, you know, ours is poly, poly fabric. I'm not sure the exact on ours, but these are, you know, pretty close to the same thing. So you see, it's uh, pretty incredible that uh, a bird like this has got fabric on the back of it. So got some of the flaps here. Of course, you know, these are split flaps on the Corsair, but I'm gonna show you something really cool. Something that, like I said, if you could even find one on the planet, and this is, the bird cage that they just did refab on. Like, this is incredible. Can't believe I get to touch this. You got the mirror up there. Um, but the team here did an incredible job restoring this, polishing the plexi and stuff on it. Um, it's just, uh, it's absolutely awe-inspiring. It's kind of cool that we're, we're sitting here touching this stuff and getting to walk around. Um, they've been so accommodating to us here. So. That's the birdcage. So that's where this plane gets that nickname of the birdcage. So now you get a good, good feel for it. And then in the later models, they, they adjusted that and stuff. So 
really cool. Let's take another quick look at the plane here and then I want to kind of take you through the rest of the facility and bring you into the machine shop. Um, so on this whole plane, it's all original. There's only a few pieces. Ah, there go the Blue Angels. Maybe you can hear them. America! <laughs> uh, the sound of freedom, right? So the, uh, the majority of the plane is all original. There's only a few places that they had to um, fabricate. This is one section when the plane crashed that they had to fix this one section. So you can see like the rivets that the team did. This work is absolutely impeccable. Look at what the restoration team here at this base has done. I mean, they just do incredible work. So this whole thing they fixed right here. And then you see here's the original spot welds. So you can see where the originals were. So the whole rest of the plane is original. That's all original. And this one section where the plane crashed that they had to take care of. So that's really kind of cool. And then this is the other side where we talked about that they kept the plane split in half here so that they could restore the cockpit. Um, we can't get in the cockpit right now because here's one of the steps to be able to jump up in there. Um, looking forward to uh, seeing this thing when it's done because it's such a rare, iconic bird. So it's um, pretty cool. It's pretty impressive. It's, uh, I can't say it enough times over and over that how grateful I am that I'm here able to be able to do this and show you guys. So let's, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the hangar here and talk a little bit more as we go into the facilities. But the whole rest of the facility, they do all the maintenance on all their tugs and everything here as to they got one of the other aircraft coming in from the line that's out, out back here that they're going to start the restoration on in this one, just like in the course here. This is a better shot of the course here. Let's take a look at it from the front here. But you can see, you know, what they got going on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's let's go into the machine shop, fabrication, inventory. Um, again, they've given us, uh, I say they gave us unrestricted access, but just so you all know, we have escorts that are with us as we're walking through. But the fact that they're letting us do this and show this to you guys, I think, is incredible. So let's take a peek what's going on in here. All right. So cool. Here we are in the machine shop or one of the sections. So this is where they do the fabrication and stuff. You'll see that. So we got some raw materials here, um, some welding. We've got uh, some bending equipment and shaping equipment. So if we need to, you know, bend some of the aluminum, look at it. We've got all this aluminum here on the rack, all these raw materials. And then uh, this is where they can punch and shape uh, some of the aluminum and stuff like that. So uh, get some nipple guides in here. So this is this is kind of cool. So they got some really great machinery in here. So we've got a uh, big grinder here, sander. They've got the vacuums on them. We've got some sandblasters. These are cool. Look at the size of these sandblasters. So this is where they're going to clean some materials. And I'm not a machinist and stuff, guys, but I'm just walking you through. But um, a lot of you guys probably know a lot more about this equipment than me, but you got sandblasters here. We got cutters, benders. Here's a shaper, so 45 degree or a 90 degree bender there for the aluminum. Look, this is really cool. We got a paint booth. Actually, let's look at right here. So they made some stencils for painting on the side of the planes. You can see them here. Look at that. So these are some stencils for whatever side of the planes, ground for the museum more presses, saws, another bender here. Oh, this is a cutter. Paint booth here. So now we're getting into some of the areas where they've got avionics, a whole bunch of older avionics and stuff in here. We're gonna go down and show you some of the, uh, the machine shop as well as parts and inventory. All right, so here we are in a little bit of a cleaner area, um, kind of cool. We've got SOP manuals in here. Looks like we've got maintenance manuals all through here. So this must be where they do a lot of their documentation and things on, on what they're doing. Uh, bulletin board, emergency exit stuff. So um, 
again all kinds of manuals and stuff so this is more office but let's see we're going to get into down here we got well this is kind of cool so here's where they can do um like some of the restoration on seats and cushions and fabrics and all that kind of stuff so you got a whole sewing section here um, whole fabrication section here that's pretty cool you got grommets and things um this is cool this is what i want in my hanger here's a whole machine shop so a couple lathes in here not a couple a whole bunch we get grinders a couple lathes we got a half inch lathe here half inch lathe here we got a one inch lathe over here this is really kind of cool. I mean, this is some really great stuff. Let's sneak through over this side, check this out. Ah, so we've got all kinds of drill presses here. Um, God, it would be great to have some of this equipment for doing some of the work we do on our planes, but uh, this is really impressive. It's, again, pretty cool to be able to see this stuff. And now we're into some of the parts, supplies, um, all kinds of avionics and things. So look at some of these old radios that are from some of these old war, warbirds and things. Um, this is just blowing my mind to be able to see some of this kind of stuff. Um, hopefully nothing's classified here, <laughs> but I'm sure they're gonna check it all before we go. But got some altimeters, RPM gauges, turn coordinator, HSIs, some really crazy old stuff through throttles and then uh over here we got all more parts supplies check out this board so this is what i want to do when we're building the carbon cub because we're getting ready to to go ahead and do a full build and film the whole thing from beginning to end for you guys but when we get the crate in and we get all the parts in there this is exactly what i want to do in the hangar is to create the boards like this and get all of the materials and stuff inventoried and up on the wall like this um, and get ready to do the build. So we're heading out of here. Let's go out back to the next hangar. And here we are. So back, we've got some turbines here, some more benders and check this out. So really cool paint booth here. That's awesome. And look at these props so i hope you guys enjoyed it i mean i want to thank the museum for letting us do this walk around and giving us this kind of access this place is incredible you got to come check it out if you can get this backstage sort of uh, tour it makes it even better but uh i'm just so grateful and thank you that we're we're actually here in this facility and get to share this with you so we'll see you on the next one and take care everybody